Hello, welcome to your love reading. Let's take a look at what you don't see coming at this time. All right, what's happening in love and what you need to know. All right, what's coming in for you in love here? What is coming in here? Oh, wow. Someone here that you've blocked here is trying to find a way to come in. All right. Someone here wants to find a way to get back in. They want to find a way to connect again with you. They want to find a way to get you to open up again here. This is, I feel like, you know, it's so interesting. Someone here, it's, it's like they're very fragile when things happen to them but not fragile when possibly doing things to other people. All right, so I just get maybe for some of you here, you may actually dismiss or tell someone to stop reaching out to you here, or you may not let someone have the same access that they used to have. All right, there's someone here that's blocked here. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be blocked where you go into your phone and you go into someone's uh, contact and block them. It could just be like, I'm blocking the access that you used to have here, right? This energy of constantly trying to put me down, trying to drain me, trying to um, discourage my vibration here. So some of you are just not accepting this energy. So you, you're really putting your foot down and you're really choosing laughter okay you're choosing laughter you're choosing happiness you want to be happy happiness literally is your goal at this time and it's such a good feeling right some of you are healing and you know this comes in just letting you know do not allow anybody to interrupt any joyful moment of yours here like i feel like for some of you you're spending a lot of time with family with friends you're doing things that make you happy ultimately and i feel like someone here it's like either they're missing you or they want to have some sort of repeat with you is is just the vibe that i'm getting i'm also getting this vibe of like someone here watching you post possibly or just viewing this energy of you moving forward and they feel like they're stuck they really feel like they're stuck they feel like they're like a lonely puppy here okay there's something about a puppy maybe they're you know spending time with their pet but this is someone here it's like they think about you a lot here they think about the good times here but they're at a point where it's like i have nothing to to say to get through to them anymore everything that i used to say actually doesn't work and for some of you you may not even see this vibe coming like wow i can't believe this person actually tried to step back into my energy i'm shocked but what's really going to shock you is how you're not going to tolerate uh this person's sweet talk their charm right their their entry point you're just not going to tolerate something and i feel like it's possibly shocking to you or maybe you've done it already but that's what again is happening here and we have this salty energy someone here wants to know if you're still upset ah here we go someone here really wants to know if you're still upset with them like are you still mad at me uh are you still holding on to a grudge are you still upset about what i did what i didn't do here so it's it's coming in as like a check-in like someone checking in on you wanting to get a uh, just like a recap of what's going on in your life but more so to see if you're upset or if you're sad, or if you're down about something here, okay? Um, and I feel like you're not even going to allow this person to even gauge you, right? Like you have shades on, like you're really covered up here. You're not really showing anything. You're not showing anything but that great old hospitality of thank you for reaching out. I appreciate it. Hope all is well type of vibe. All right, like it comes in as corporate vibes here. When you respond to this person, this person's like, wow, I cannot gauge this person. I can't gauge if they're upset. I can't gauge if they moved on. I can't gauge if they're happy or sad. They want to get a better understanding of like what's going on with you. So don't be, you know, don't be alarmed here when, um, I don't know really how social media works, like Instagram and things like that or snap whatever people use but i just get this vibe of someone here trying to just get a a knowing of how you feel not even of what you have going on but what you feel it's like someone's looking for like an entry point right and they're watching you glow up 
right? They're watching you glow up. They're watching you. Maybe you posted something about a new opportunity, a new job, a new car, a new something. And they're like, wow. Some of you could also be in the limelight. And this person's actually wanting to know, like, do you still think about me? Right? Do you still think about me? And what's happening? All right? This person could have been someone here that, you know, had a third party or just wasn't very excited about your success or just really didn't give that positive energy that was needed in a connection. Some of you, this could be a friend as well. It doesn't only have to be a lover, but someone here that only cared about themselves and ultimately coming in as if like, hey, I care now. Okay? Whether it's true or not, that's just their energy, right? Like, hey, I care now. Okay? Anything else that my viewers don't see coming? Wishful thinking. Uh, what is going on here? What is happening here? Someone here wants a second chance with you. Okay. Someone here wants to have a second chance. They're unsure if you're willing to give them a second chance here. And this is another reason why this person's contacting. Like, will I have a second chance in your life, right? I know the holidays are coming up. We normally talk a lot during the holidays here. I'm getting a lot of like Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces energy, or even Scorpio. Let's get some clarifications and see what's really happening here. Okay. I, I just get that someone it's, I feel like it hurts a little bit. Tell me what this person may be feeling at this time. Like what's going on with this narcissist energy? Oh, wow. This person is like really fighting this fighting off this idea that there's a possibility that this could be over this could be someone also at some point they were connecting with someone else here and they weren't able to get rid of this person or let go of this person or be honest about this person this person has a vibe of always being chased also or they're so used to being chased and i guess that stopped at some point here pisces energy aries sagittarius leo someone here again like things just stopped things started to change tables started to change here all right and i feel like this person like this is like bothering them and this is one of the things that it's like i cannot imagine i couldn't i can't even imagine things being this over or you calling it quits here all right or i feel like again what this person's going to start to realize if is that you've changed You've changed here. Let's get this blocked energy. Where is this coming from as well? Yeah, this person's going to start realizing like, yeah, people change. People change. People get fed up here. Yeah. So you're blocking. I feel like someone here is blocking any sort of future like energy. Like you really thought that there was some sort of success here. Okay. So you're blocking just the whole like future energy with this person. Like I feel like someone here is saying, like, I really don't see long term. I really, truly don't. Why? Yeah. Someone here has abandoned someone a lot. Yeah. You made me feel a certain way a number of times. Right. And it really, it's like I had my hopes up with you. Someone is looking back and saying, like, I've given you a chance in the past before. Or again, I had my hopes up here to only be in the five of pentacles. It's like. It's like we really made made it and then things just collapsed. What happened? I ultimately see some of you telling this person like, hey, move on without me. It's all right. It hurts, but move on without me. All right, move on without me here. Moving into this energy of laughter. Clarify the laughter energy. What's happening in this laughter energy, which feels good, honestly, in this reading. It really feels good. Yeah, some of you are just, <laughs> some of you are just more so in this space of being excited about the fact that you're able to stand up for yourself, I feel. I get that's what, the, what that is here. And I'm also happy the fact that I'm not wrapped up in this situation as much as I used to be here. So there's, there's this energy of like sticking up for myself. Like I'm just not the same anymore. I'm happy where I am. Some of you, this could have been like a sexual soul tie or just like a deep soul tie you had with this person. And now it's like, I don't have to accept things any longer. Okay. So how does this person feel about a second chance? 
Oh, wow. This person honestly wants you to admit that there is an opportunity here. I feel like this person, they took too long. I, like, I get this vibe of like, I took too long in this energy of being indecisive, being confused here. Someone took a very long time to choose us here. And I feel like ultimately this person's going to find a way to discuss, ask, or request a second chance. How does my viewers come in with that? How does my viewers come in with that energy? Yeah, you're like, I'm good. I'm all right. I... I like being here. I like being in this independent energy. I love being um, in the space of non-attachment. I'm all right. Some of you are completely detaching from this energy. And that's maybe, again, for a lot of you, something you don't see coming, right? You don't see yourself, again, having this conversation and telling this person, yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. I'm all right. All right. Overall message for my viewers, please. Wow, what a transition for all energy here. Do not allow your past, okay? Do not allow your past or anyone from your past here to control any forward movement for you. For some of you here in the past, it's like maybe I was giving a lot of chances to disappointment or someone that constantly kept on disappointing me or someone here that wasn't sure if it was a yes or a no. Uh, you really stood up for yourself. Like there was a very like black and white response from you at some point. I feel like you're really standing your ground. Like you're standing up to someone finally here like you're finding the strength to stand up to someone here and i feel like it was overwhelming but i feel like you did it i feel like you're doing it here okay some of you are again stepping in this energy of i'm just focusing on me okay this could have been someone here that ghosted you and wants to show up okay we have today in the moment, a lot of you are really focusing on the moment right now. Could be celebrating a birthday or a birthday is coming up, but you're celebrating yourself. You're celebrating uh, your success, your courage here. <laughs> I really feel like there's something about your strength that's really going to be tested and you are going to get the green light of, yes, you made it, you did it here. All right, so stay tuned for someone that really wants to reconnect with you. All right, and again, ask your hand, all right? Yeah, maybe in marriage, maybe in a relationship, or again, they want to reconnect. But ultimately, I feel like you're going to feel through and see through uh, what this person desires. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Have a beautiful one. Say you love me.